Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII Part 3. I'm Anubis from News Let's Plays and also from CNC Productions. Where we last took off, we found out that Captain Barsh was actually a traitor and helped kill the king of Dalmasca and also helped kill, or well, didn't help kill, I guess he did it himself, killed Rex. So now we will find out what is going to happen. Kill the sword are cut of the same cloth as the captain. Traitors who would lead Dalmasca to her ruin. Dalmasca surrender without terms was soon to follow. Memoirs of Marquis Hallium Ondor the Fourth once again. So this is explaining what is happening in I guess the regions of Dalmasca. And now we shall begin. <clears throat> and here we have the main character or protagonist, which is Van. Vaughn! Hurry it up or they'll find us! That is Kites. Or as he I know, said, I know. Vaughn. Just a little more. You keep an eye out for me up there, Kites. One, two, three more. Alright. Time to clean the house. Third time to clean the house. Let's go. Come back here. What are you running away for? Wait, where'd you go? There you are. They won't do much, just kill him, pretty much. And one. And the second one will take care of it. Alright. Oh, so, yes, if you saw down there, it said second chain. Hold on a moment. Oh, there it is on the map. If you can't find a monster that you're searching for, look on the map, they'll have a red dot. Um, yes, as you saw, then it came up with a chain. That pretty much means if you kill the same monster numerous times, it'll result in a chain, meaning you get more items and a better reward and all that. So, the higher the chain, the better. Wow, Vaughn. You got them all yourself? Guess I know who to call when something big comes along. Hey, it's good practice for the desert. I'm ready for anything now. That's enough for today. You should get back to Miguel's place, Kites. Aren't you running errands for him? Oops, <laughs> totally forgot. You should come, Vaughn. He's busy today. Might have some work for you to do, too. I've got other, um, work to do. Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides. Pretty much, Miguelo or Miguelo, however you like to pronounce it, is Vaughn's sort of manager. He owns a shop, and um, Vaughn works with him. So, this place is known as the Royal City of Rabanasta. So pretty much this is the main city, and pretty much the first starting place as well. So all of these characters you have seen are different races in the world of Ibelis, I guess you could say. What'd you say? Yes, uh, sir, you haven't paid. And I... What? Haven't paid? Oh, 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 second time. Please, sir, take it. It's a gift. Leave the poor sod, please. We don't want trouble today. Your luck, peddler. Oops, sorry. Which way you're going, churl? Oh, my pouch! It's gone! The boy! Get out of the way! Haha, <laughs> so Van just stole the pouch. Pretty much it's different races. The pig looking people and then his Sakaar or Seek or something like that. It's like S E C S E E Q. Yeah, Bangers or Bangars, who are um, the lizard people. Humes, which are humans. Moogles, which are the little pom pom fairy creatures. Uh, Vieras, which are sort of like really tall women with like rabbit ears, I guess. And. I'm pretty sure that's it. What? This is the second protagonist and Van's friend known as Pinello. Hey, that's mine. What do you mean yours? You've been stealing again. What happens if they catch you? 
We need you to be there for us, Fawn. You're no good to anyone if you're locked away in a dungeon. Oh, what? Am I the leader now? <sighs> We're orphans. The first thing you learn is you gotta watch out for yourself. Come on, Pinello. You know it as well as I do. Hey, you give that back. What do you think you're doing? I thought that this money was the people of Dalmasca's property. The Imperial stole it from us, so it's only fair that we take it back. It's our duty as Dalmascans. Well, wasn't that what you said? Yeah, but I never said anything about taking it back from me. This is for that bread you took the other day. Just because I help Miguelo out every now and then, it doesn't mean that you get to eat for free too, you know. I know that. You think I like living like this? One of these days, I'll fly an airship of my own. I'll be a sky pirate, free to go where I will. Hmm. Well, be careful. You'll never fly anything if you're rotting in a dungeon. Hmm. Oh, Miguelo had some errands that need doing. He wanted you to drop by his place. It might be a good idea to lend a hand. Alright, so that was a pretty good scenic view of the city, I guess, and seeing an airship. But yes, this has airships. Alright, here is the map. So, thank you for adding the world map. We can actually look at it again. Okay. So pretty much this area is massive, and I remember getting lost when I first played this. But, okay, we'll start up here. The orange sort of diamond shaped is Gambit. Uh, I will get more into that later. So, um, you have different shops, alright? Here we have the Sand Sea. The Sand Sea is like a tavern. It's pretty much the symbol of, like, I think it's a wine bottle or something, or beer bottle and, like, food. Um, Magics, of course, has, like, a staff, so you can learn magics there. Protectives is the shield. Uh, the weapon stores a sword, of course. Uh, the potion shop, or accessory, I guess you could say, is, um, the potion looking thing. The techniques, techniques are abilities which you can use, such as stealing and all that other stuff. Uh, that's the scroll type thing. And then symbols such as that usually means connecting to another place, because it's a stair symbol. And the X is, you know, marks a spot. Anyhow, as you can see there, a gate crystal, the orange crystal, it means you can teleport to different places. If you've seen a gate crystal in another place and you want to teleport here, and you've already seen this one here, you can teleport. Blue one means you can save, and the, it's the same as a gate crystal, except you can't teleport. You have the aerodrome there as well, which is for flying around, but we'll get into all of this pretty much later. So, if I'm going the right way, I'm just going to make sure. Yes, I am. Alright. So, this city is pretty huge, if you can already tell. But, um, we've just got to head down here and speak with Miguelo, which is Van's manager or boss or something. And he owns this store. There he is over there, he's a banjo. Or a banga. Ah, Vaughn, I was waiting. Pinello said you needed something? Ah, uh, had me some packages supposed to be arriving by courier. In the morning, uh, perhaps he ran into some trouble out in the desert. Now I have no foodstuffs to prepare for the banquet tonight. So you want me to find this courier? Hey, no problem. No problem, the dozen teams are trouble. I'd be sending you to early grave, my boy. No, I've arranged for some replacement goods from Tomage over at the Sand Sea. So, you want me to go to the tavern to pick him up? Actually, I asked Kites to do that. Wouldn't you know he's gone missing on me, too? Ah. I can't leave my shop at night, Pinello, on another chore at the moment, you see. What I want you to do is run over to the Sand Sea and fetch Kites back. What do you say? Ugh, sounds wild. It's easy work, and you'll thank me for it someday. Alright, so now all we've got to do is find, find kites at the Sand Sea, which is what's happened, which I said before. First things first, here we have some extra stuff. So you got the world map listed under there, and now we have equipment. Fans level 1, so he's weak. <laughs> 
Okay, so pretty simple. You can buy weapons later on in the game. I'm actually sure you can buy some now, so I might check that out. Mithril Sword. Don't have a shield or anything, and don't have any accessories. You can remove, optimize, and all that. Here, yep, actually, do I have any gill? I have 150, so I can't really buy much, to be honest. So let's just focus on the main story for now. Um, because this game is really long, we're actually going to get up to a new part at the minute, <clears throat> which will explain about things called hunts. That is like, hunts are pretty much like a major side quest in this game. I'm going to try and focus on the story, if anything, and then when we get up to the final area, I'll probably just be doing hunts and all this other side quest stuff. Alright, so, here we are on the sand sea. There you are, kites. Stop loafing around. Look, Vaughn, look! This is mm. it! This is why Miguelo's courier didn't get here on time. A uh, creature spotted in the ester sand. What is that thing? Ah, Vaughn! Miguelo sent you too, did he? This is another of Vaughn's so friends days, known as Tomaj. I, so I don't envy him the work, though. Not a bit. Quite the affair throwing a banquet to welcome the Imperials, eh? Welcoming? We should be... <sighs> whatever. Say, Tomaj, what's this? Nah, don't remind me. We've got some nastiness out there in the Ester Sand. What's stopping our couriers? And that means shortages all around. Thought I'd put up a bill, offer a reward to anyone who can knock that nasty back in its place. Hmm. Now that's work. Sounds ten times better than running errands for Miguelo. That's right. Vaughn, you should give it a shot. And you should be getting back to Miguelo. Now, Kites. He was waiting for you. Oh, right, right. All right, so here we have the introduction of hunts. So here's how it works. People post bills here on the notice board when they have a monster they need taken care of. Headhunters track people, right? Well, hunters track monsters. The monsters you're hunting are, is called your mark. Here's the bill I posted for the rogue tomato. The mark I petitioned to have hunted. Do you want to hear all the details? Uh, no, I think we should be fine. Okay, so pretty much, he's giving us a clan premiere, which is, it tells you about what hunts you got to do, and what the people say, and all this sort of stuff. Alright, so he gave us an Aratcha armlet, which is an accessory. Now, this is the introduction, I guess, of licenses. So here he's explaining, with licenses, you are unable to unlock weapons and actually be able to use them. So here we have Van. So you look at it through the party menu, you can obtain it. And here we have it. So, after you kill a monster, you get experience and you get a license point for killing it as well. It says license board, marked with a star. Okay, so pretty much the only thing he has at the minute is steal. So we can steal from monsters. This is auto, by the way. I'm not doing this, so this might take a bit of a while. And he can also wield light armor. And mithril sword and a mithril blade. Looks like right now you have to equip leather clove, clothing. Yep, already said all that. You have a technique still. More licenses you have, the more equipment you'll be able to use. So pretty much that's it. You want to fill out your whole license board. And you should be able to do that if you farm and kill monsters. But the license alone isn't enough. Yep, so you'll need to actually buy it. And also have the license to use it. Alright, so it says that we have in the top left hand corner to the license points, Van has six at the minute. But I'm going to have to explain this into more further detail in part four. So yes, we've had a little bit of action, a lot of introductory stuff, but we should be eventually getting into it soon. So, I'm Nibbers from News, let's play some off from CNC Productions, and you have been watching Let's Play Final Fantasy XII Part 3. I'll see you next time in part four, where we will learn more about licenses and hunts, marks, etc, etc. So, have a fantastic day, and goodbye.